Hi, I'm a PC running Microsoft Windows XP. Hey, I'm an iPod, fifth generation from Apple. I've got a 30 gig hard drive, which will hold 20,000 songs, 25,000 photos, and over 40 hours of video. That's impressive, but you can't do much until you meet a computer. Hey, I'm PC friendly. Okay, let's play a game. I'll be the office. I'll be the briefcase. Whatever, it works. Well, why don't we show them how it works? It all starts with iTunes. An Apple program. Yes, but it works on a PC, which is what most computers are. Okay, okay. Let's show them how so I can grab my downloads and go. It all starts with iTunes. It rips music from and burns music to a CD. It plays and organizes your music files. It lets you download tunes, podcasts, and movies. And more and more college lectures will be available on sites like iTunes U. And iTunes transfers all of those files to me. iTunes is like home base for the iPod. But you don't need an iPod or any Apple hardware to use it. Hey, take it easy. The iPod does make your music, movies, and podcast library portable. Exactly. Thank you. iPod and iTunes were made for each other. And no matter what kind of computer you have, you need iTunes to organize all that media. At the UWM iTunes U page, you can get podcasts and movies produced here at UWM. Word on the street is, they are awesome. And you can watch them on the street with your iPod. Syncing is easy. No buttons, no clicks. Just take the cable from the iPod and plug the USB connector. USB, thank you. Very convenient. It goes into the jack, front or back. Then iTunes gets to work. While this is going on, your iPod displays this sign. And when you see it, obey. Do not disconnect. Because breaking the connection now can result in lost or scrambled files. We'll discuss disconnection later. The moment you connect iPod to computer, iTunes will start to update everything added since your last sync. Everything? Every song, every movie, every TV episode. But that's where you have to stop and think. That's your department. That's right. When you connect, you'll see a window on your PC screen, the summary page. It tells you everything that's going on with your iPod. You can manage all my functions from here. It's my home page. Hey, there's me. Using the tabs at the top, you can select options to choose which songs, movies, or podcasts you want to put on the iPod. For example, here you decide whether to put all your podcasts into your iPod briefcase or just a selection. Only the best for me, please. And what about these options? Open iTunes when this iPod is connected. That'll open iTunes automatically. Oh, we got that already. That's what just happened. If you don't want it to open that way, just unclick the box. Only sync checked items. That means if you go to the library and look at movies or music, only the checked items will transfer to the iPod during the syncing process. If you uncheck this, everything in iTunes on the PC goes onto the iPod. But remember, no matter how many or few boxes you check in iTunes, everything on the iPod will be gone, replaced by whatever you've chosen in iTunes. Manually manage music and videos. If we click that, next time, you won't auto-sync with me. We will have to click and drag each item separately into the iPod. Is that a good thing? Yes, it is. It's better not to auto-sync so you have more control to pick and choose. If you are using a computer in the UWM Campus Computer Lab to transfer files to your iPod, you will have to choose the manual option. And this last option, enable disk use. That's if we want to use you like a portable hard drive. We would drag and drop files or folders from the desktop outside of iTunes onto the iPod icon. By the way, the restore button... Oh, no, no! Don't click the restore button. If you click restore, I'll be reset to factory settings, and all the files will be deleted from me. But not from me. Well, I guess that covers the basics. I gotta go. So it's time to disconnect. Wait! I still say do not disconnect! We will eject the iPod safely using the eject button. The standard main menu will then appear on the iPod. Then we can safely remove the USB cable. I feel ejected. It's okay, iPod. It's not you. It's me. That's okay. I'm a traveling man anyway. Gotta go. 
And remember, this is a monogamous relationship. You're synced with me now. I know. I know. If I go ahead and sync with another iTunes, all my files will be erased and replaced. But you can always come back and resync with me.